One, two, one, two, three, four. Welcome everyone to the morning announcements. I'ma say my name so you can pronounce it. Bo, ma, ni, ar, ma. Shout out to early risers. I see who you are. My morning ritual. Thanks for having me over. Start with audio, visual, doses, and code. For my favorite occasions, a few moons away. 270 rotations to watermelon day. If you're with me this morning, I hope that you're with it. Two things that I want and three ways to get it. Black solidarity, African independence. Honor the ancestors, prepare descendants. Third thing you gotta do is love right now. I mean that in every sense and every way you know how. Now throw them up and say what should increase on one, two, three, peace. I do the mic check. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the morning announcements with Bomani Armand on Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I am Bomani Armand. We are 270 days away from Watermelon Day, Watermelon Day at Sankofa. Let's start our morning with today's anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, written by Jay Rosamond Johnson and James Weldon Johnson, performed by yours truly. Let's go. Friends, that was the Black National Anthem by James Rosamond Johnson and James Weldon Johnson. This is the morning announcements. There's a bunch of ways you can support what we do. You can hire me. You can go to my website and buy the merch. You can donate on Patreon. But the thing that you can do that will help the most right now is to like, share, follow, and subscribe. All right. Thank you all very much. Find more information at bomaniarmad.com. All right. Now, if, if you don't know, I am practicing the Black National Anthem because I want to make that the live musical element of my show that's happening at the Public Playhouse several months from now. The Frederick Douglass Writing Club, writing for freedom since 1838. It's going to be February 5th from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. I've been working on this program for de for, <laughs> for it feels like a decade um, and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. So bring your young writers. I'm going to have this down. I got three months to get it down before then. I'm going to have it down by then and be able to start the show off with the black national anthem and i'm excited about that all right friends the next thing that we do every morning is our libation and today's libation is for one miss esther roll esther elizabeth roll november 8th 1920 to november 17th 1998 a Bahamian American actress roll is best known for her television role as florida evans the character she played on two 1970s sitcoms. The character was introduced as Maude Findlay's housekeeper on Maude and was spun off in the show's second season into Good Times, a show about Florida's family. Roll was nominated in 1975 for the Best Actress in a Musical Comedy, a Golden Globe Award, and, and, global, and a Golden Globe Award for her role in Good Times. Roll was 19 years old, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, Roll was 19 years older than the actor John Amos, who played her husband, James, named Henry on Mod Evans. The James Evans character was only added after Esther Roll fought hard for a father figure and husband to be added to the show. Roll had fought 
for the father character on the show, more relevant themes and scripts, and was unhappy with the success of Jimmy Walker's character, J.J. Evans, which she believed took the show in a frivolous direction. Later on, in a standoff with Good Times producer Norman Lear, Roll quit when her contract ended. Although the show continued without her for the fifth season, she returned for the show's final season. In 1979, she won an Emmy for her role in Summer of My German Soldier, a made-for-television movie. All right, let's do this Esther Roll quote. I had a wonderful father, and I couldn't bear that television virtually ignored black fathers. Esther Roll. Esther, I too had a wonderful father. I have the painful realization that I'm at the stage where my peers and I are losing our fathers. There are two brothers I follow pretty religiously on social media, but who I don't know personally, who recently started their social media posts by saying they lost their fathers and that they are dealing with it. But they all said that the work that, they, that we see them doing, that we love, is a result of the strong father they just lost. I don't know where I'm going with this. It was just, it's just weighed heavily on my heart as I reread this quote. I've got friends losing fathers that I know in real life as well. I tell everyone I'm doing the best impression of my father I can every day. I tell people who lost their father to be patient with themselves. Thank you, Mama Esther, for recognizing this crucial relationship and amazing fathers. Let's pour libation for Esther Roll. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames to flickers, we pouring out some liquor. We're the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs, honor you by pouring out some water. Friends, today's libation is for one Miss Esther Roll. All right, friends, the morning announcements. I'm really proud of how this has developed over the last three months. Um, I want to put this sign up here again. I want to make sure you know that you can like, share, follow, and subscribe. You can also go to my website and donate to my Patreon to help me make more material. I'm about to show you a video that I use in the classroom. I talked to you earlier about the Frederick Douglass Writing Club. I shot this next video called The Selfie King here in my basement using a, a webcam and, and my little bit of knowledge of Final Cut Pro. Um, and now I've gotten even better, so I'm about to redo this video in the next couple of weeks, especially to get ready for my concert at the Public Playhouse. But I wanna show you this video. It's called Selfie King. I think it's maybe my best song about Frederick Douglass that I did. And it's based on the book called Picturing Frederick Douglass. In this book, a bunch of historians got together all the pictures of uh, all the photos of Frederick Douglass they could find, and they realized he's the most photographed American of the 19th century. So I decided to write a song as Frederick Douglass in first person um, to make sure you understand how that worked. Uh, friends, this next song you're about to hear is called Selfie King. Introducing the world famous autobiographer, newspaper publisher, public speaker, and the most photographed American of the 19th century, Frederick Douglass. You see my suit, it costs some dough. Fresh and clean, don't you know? I need a crown for this photo. So let me pick out my fro, selfie king. 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 Pick out my fro. I see you wanna floss on the gram, get a little fame with your little phone. The 1800s, freshest in the land. Let me tell you kind of selfie game I was on. America's most popular. I mean for real, best-selling autobiographer. Worst pay the bills, given racist insomnia. House on the hill, self-taught lexicographer. That means I've got worse skills. Flexing for the photographer. Black and white steels, that's how we do in an Anacostia with the old school ice grill. Uh. You see my suit, it costs some dough. Fresh and clean, don't you know? I need a crown for this photo. So let me pick out my fro. Selfie King, 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 pick out my fro. Cash and speaking fees, royalties, and federal checks. My son's a Civil War vet. Name one president that I haven't met. Could be at an all white function, not talking clothes, brain. Breaking neck slim. I'm on the front porch listening to string quartets. It's confidence, not arrogance. From Southeast, most famous resident. More famous than the president. Look at the pics if you want evidence. Took advantage of every opportunity. Despite racists, try to do to me. The ambassador to Haiti, the US recruited me. I got real diplomatic immunity. You see my suit, it costs some dough. Fresh and clean, don't you know? I need a crown for this photo. So let me pick out my fro. Selfie King, pick out my fro. Selfie King. Pick on my fro, selfie king. Pick on my fro, selfie king. Pick on my fro. Yes, I'm a free man. Thank you stopping. What are my plans? 
Punishment is severe, will knock you out where you stand Slave owners read my book, my haters are my biggest fans Overseers could read braille, still can't see me with their hands Think you flexing on them hard, showing off with bravery Flexed in so many pics with a squad, they try to send me back slavery There's one thing that got me tripping like a Marie Are you everything your pictures of you claim to be? I'm speaker that they came to see No one had more claim than me No one had a bigger name than me No one alive at a time had my fame than me Not a player, no one's in the same game as me Everyone posed looking aimlessly I stared in the camera shamelessly So you can see no one's taming me You see my suit, it cost some dough Fresh and clean, don't you know I need a crown for this photo So let me pick out my fro Selfie king Pick out my fro Selfie king Pick out my fro Selfie king Pick on my fro, selfie king. Pick on my fro. You see my suit, it cost some dough. Fresh and clean, don't you know? I need a crown for this photo. So let me pick out my fro, selfie king. Pick on 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 my fro. Friends, that was Selfie King, the story of Frederick Douglass being the most photographed American of the 19th century. Hey, that's good timing for me to bring up my ad again about um, about my show that's coming up in February, the Frederick Douglass Writing Club, writing for freedom since 1838. We're three months away from that. So you got plenty of time. Get your young writers. Make sure they come through. Everyone's going to get their own writing journal and actually write during this hip hop concert. Um, friends, that is my time. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. I apologize for starting the show late today, but I'm getting some production stuff together, and I think the show is even tighter now than it was before. Um, as always, there are three things I want you to do today. Honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. All right? When I count to three, I need everyone to say peace and have a great day. Here we go. One, two, three. Peace.